Alright, welcome to another Robot Adventures. I got that shit etched in there. I didn't get the adventures part in there. Review. And we got our... We got our... Then their alternative shit. Uh... Sky Warp. So let's rotate them around in the box. Let's look in. Very nice in the box. Tommy took out it right there. You know, I'm a, I like Sky Warp. I like him. Good guy. I like his abilities. Sky Warp is cool. Anyway, 3780 at uh, the big camera. Mm, mm, mm. And this is not the first time I've uh, I've transformed them. You know, the first time I tried to do this uh, took me a while. So <laughs> I think I might be a bit better at transforming them now, but. I wouldn't count my chickens in the in the britches of the of the corn patch. You know what I'm talking about. Let's see. And I'm doing this, of course, in high definition because I like the high definition. And I think the quality. I think we're, what you really want to see is the figure. You don't want them to see me. You know, you don't want to see my face. And I've said this a hundred times. You want to see the toy. And for some reason I can't get them to stay. Maybe my camera's too close, but... Yeah. As you can see in the background there, we do have a Dr. Starscream. And he is performing some kind of examination there. So... You know you need any kind of examination performed on you, I'll just let Starscream know. He'll hook you up with the, with the rubber gloves and all the appropriate kind of loving that is required. Let's see if we can get this guy to open up his doors here. You know, I think pretty much that's all he can do in this mode. Uh, the hood... It doesn't really open up that much. It's not really on there that well. That I've gotten it to, you know, that level of goodness. But so if we can zoom in in on the interior of that, where I just bring the, we can just bring it up and show you it. So, yeah, interior there, that's, of course, is, is his arm. Check out the driver's side, I guess, uh, Japanese or European style. Who the fuck in Europe likes Transformers? That's just fucking retarded. Or England? What? They don't know anything about Transformers. Ruben, we know a lot about Transformers. We have transformers in our buttholes. Boom! Got an extra light. So, those of course, let's look at the underside, of course. Those are his arms. So. Uh, I guess first impressions of this figure, pretty light. Not that much die cast on him this the this frame of the door frame is metal and i think there might be a couple of other parts like here this little light purple part but not that much die cast on mostly plastic so uh yeah a little bit disappointed in that uh 
I'm not really sure the proper transformation for him. Ah. You know, I think people should get into wine more. Beer is good, beer is good, but it makes you burp and, and wine is nice also. I guess I'm going to pinch that closer. There you go. Some details there. The front details. It's like a, like a smiley face there. So let's see if I can transform them up. On camera. If I can. I don't know. And I don't know if this is a proper transformation technique. I just... Take the legs down. Take the whole bonnet toppy part apart there. So we got that. The arms I have found pop off quite easily, and so do the these parts. Some of the parts just pop off. I don't want them to pop off. Maybe they just pop off because I'm not, you know, doing it according to the instructions. But uh, they tend to do that. Let's see. If we... No, like that. If, for example, boom, that just popped off. And nope, nope. Can I get the piece back on there? There we go. Very, very delicate uh, flop. A little bit floppy part here. As you can see. Oh, there it goes. It just popped off again. It's on this ball joint here, but there's not much... Uh, it's not really a tight ball joint. So that piece just, it just popped off again. There you go. I, I, I think uh, one of the tricks that we have learned from uh, transformer pieces is that uh, if we add a little super glue to that part, uh, it's more likely to stay on. So what we want to do there is lift this piece here, the whole door frame, up on, on, on that pivot, on that... Uh, part right there and lift it up but a lot of times what happens is that that joint will just pop up there you go hey it worked that time all right see I just wanted to do that I just lift it up and it worked that time but on the other side it didn't work Wow, oh, and that, that it just fell off right there. Now this back piece here is going to rotate and be the side like wings or something there. So what you're going to do is fold back these guys and make them like his uh, arrow launching thingies or well, missile launching things. Zoom it up. The hip down there, this piece, box up into that piece there. And the whole legs have to go down, rotate downwards. Yay! That's it right there. So pretty much right there, you got him where he's where he is. That's what he does, and if 
for the most part that that sky warp there just ripped his arm off again all right yeah. so yeah Try to set him up here real quick. Get his null rays into position, his legs rotated properly. The one thing I don't want to do is uh, cut the video because I'd have to do this all over again. So, the corner of the box. Shit, there goes the camera again. I got this thing on a like tiny ass tripod. Warp takes. Yep, oh, his leg all backwards. Here, there we go. Uh, as far as uh, these wings move out, and all right, there you go. Kind of like that. Except he's supposed to have these parts on him. Also, as like hip joints or. Yeah. And since I'm a partner, I can go to 12 minutes. I'm just going to rotate him around here in a sec. Since he is alternity, you would think he'd be really nice. I think I'm thinking because the economy they they skimped on, on a little bit of the metal. Uh, the first alternity Primus and Megatron they had a lot of uh, die cast in the chest. Uh, these guys are skimping on it. They got a little bit in the feet. A, little, a lot of this light purple here. Light purple is metallic and the door frames, but uh, yeah. uh, detail wise, I think it's great. I'm just, I'm just saying. In comparison to the the previous alternatives, this one is not as good. I mean, unless you really like the car and the styling and, uh, you know, you're a really big fan of that, well then, you know, that's cool. But at least my figure is very delicate and tends to fall apart a lot. Null rays uh, do swap over there. Just, uh, I'm just saying, a little bit delicate. So, take that into consideration if you're going to buy this thing. Cost you, uh, what, about 40, 50 bucks, maybe? You just spent uh, about 15 minutes watching my review of this. Do you think it's worth uh, 50 bucks? I don't know. Your your call. I think the details uh, 
great, but is that enough for you? Uh, flimsy, very lightweight and plasticky. So, not as I I don't I don't like it as much as the original ones, but who knows? All right, guys, take care. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye. Come back.